What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so I'm on part part number three. I forgot which part I was on. On uh, working on the uh, replacement of the mailbox. Um, so uh, I, I so the first step was taking the old mailbox out and then um, digging the hole uh, 24 inches deep. And then uh, so now I am about to to cut the post and rebuild the wood structure uh, uh, to hold the two mailboxes on. So uh, so I'm, I'm gonna work, try to work from the back of my truck. I know it's not ideal, but uh, let's see how that works out. All right, so, uh, so whenever you're, whenever you're uh, hooking your saw, uh, my, some, my dad taught me that if you, if you tie a knot tie your cord if you're hooking to an extension cord tie a knot like this before you plug your 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 saw or your electrical you hear my granddaughter in the background uh, carry, <laughs> make a lot of noise sorry about that but i'm gonna make more noise with the saw here in a minute um so this this prevents your uh saw or your drill whatever you're using from becoming from getting unplugged uh while you're working so anyway just thought that's a uh, interesting tidbit of information um so now i'm going to measure i'm going to measure our old post so you can see our old post here in the back of the truck so the the height so the surface of the ground was right here where it started to rot right there's where the crack where I, where I broke it um, so the surface of the ground it was 40 inches okay we'll say we'll say 41 inches We'll say 41 inches. So we're going to make uh, 41 inches plus 24. So that would be what? 65 inches. Okay. 65 inches. That's how long we want this post to be. Okay. Uh, and then we want to determine which which end of the post that do we, do we want to use. Okay. So I'm going to use a four by six post. Uh, and this top of this looks pretty, pretty good. So what did I say now? Remind me, 24 and what, 41? So 65, 65 inches, right? So we're gonna go 65 inches, all right? So I'm gonna put a mark on here, 65 inches, okay? And then I'm gonna flip the post around and then we'll we'll draw a straight line on there and we'll get ready to cut it. Uh, I guess I could have measured from the other end. I wouldn't have had to flip the post. If I was smart, that's what I would have done, but I didn't. All right. Okay. Now, so now we have what's, what's known as a a combination square. Okay, it's good when you're like marking post or short piece, you know, pieces of wood that are not too wide, like six inches or less. It works out well. Um, okay. So we are going to make cut our post off right here on this mark at sixty-five inches. Okay. So we're going to score a line all the way around, and uh, the combination square helps keep you on track as far as uh, where your lines are, okay? All right. So. All right. And then your last line. Okay, that didn't come out the best, unfortunately. I don't know why, why it didn't, but anyway, let's see. We'll, we'll see when we start cutting. All right, so now, now what we're going to do is we are going to cut, um, and we're going to use the remainder of this post uh, to go across, So since we have two mailboxes, and we'll chisel out a, a piece on each each side, or uh, sorry, in the center, so that this piece will rest on top of the post, and then the mailboxes will be mounted on top of that piece. So I hope that makes sense. All right. So next we're gonna we're gonna cut cut the uh, cut the post. Okay. So I'm gonna make a little bit of noise, and I guess you can see. Okay, looks like you can. All right. Sorry, the sun's in my eyes. All right. Now, 
gonna flip the post over. <laughs> All right. Again, you don't want them. All right. Okay. Now we're almost completely through. We're almost completely through with the post. All right. There we are. Easy as that. Okay. Now, let's see what we're gonna do. Post is gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be buried in the ground two inches, and then, and then we're our our intention is to. Uh, my my intention, I should say, is to uh, notch this piece of wood out in the center, uh, and then we'll it'll allow it to. Lower down, if you can see that, let me get on this side. It'll allow this piece to be able to lower down on here about an inch and a half. And then I'll run, um, I'll run some, uh, one of these um, rugged structural screws down in, in the top of the post, two of those down in there. And that thing will not, not be able to go anywhere. I can promise you that. Uh, <clears throat> so. All right, so first of all, before I drop this on my head, I'm going to set this down, okay? Um, now, we want to check and see. So the piece that was on there for the mailboxes, uh, I'm going to grab the old, the old piece just to, as a reference point. Although I didn't like, I didn't really particularly like how it was put together too much. But uh, so <clears throat> what we're going to, It'll be somewhat similar to this, but better, okay? Um, and I'm going to use uh, some new five-quarter boards and just replace these. I don't even know. I guess they are treated. They look like they are, but they've been there a while, so they're, they're pretty rough shape. So, and I just stabbed myself with a rusty screw, but I had my tetanus shot recently, so I'm good. Uh, should be. All right. So. I was going to measure this <clears throat> so the distance on this is 21 inches okay um, and so this piece this block is 31 inches so we don't need quite quite that much right for the mailboxes let me set the saw out of the light <clears throat> let's just uh let's just set those mailboxes up on here just as a reference okay so the mailboxes are going to they're going to sit on top, they're going to sit on top of the, uh, sorry, uh, so they're going to sit on top, I'm going to leave that down, they're going to sit on top here like this, but we're going to have a board to, uh, underneath them, that like was, what was on here, a little piece of five quarter board underneath the mailbox. Um, so as much as I, I think though, however, we will be able to, We'll try to make it to where you can get to them better, uh, more so than what the last uh, the last job was uh, with the mailboxes. So we're going to make it a little little further apart, and I'm going to try to make it put the screws in at an angle so that the next time the next person that has to replace this is not going to go through the same struggle that I did trying to get it off. <clears throat> So maybe we could, if we did that, if we did it at an angle, then I guess the 21 inches would be okay. Uh, so the mailbox just rested like that, right? So if we run the screw on the inside at an angle, then whoever replaces this mailbox in the future would, shouldn't have any problem accessing the screws. So that's what we'll plan to do. And it doesn't really take much to hold the mailbox once you, you know, once you screw this board to the to the post and then you set your mailbox and run a screw in the back 
two, a screw in the back, two in the front, and two in the back, then that mailbox generally won't go anywhere. I mean, it's plastic, however. So you can see how this one screw got broken out. So that's going to be, that'll be an issue. But uh, I could run a, drill a new hole and run a screw through this, uh, through the plastic at an angle right here, if you can see that. I can run a screw here at an angle and here at an angle, and that way when it needs replaced again, it'll be much easier to access. So anyway, that's what I'll think I'll plan on doing. Um, so, all right, so we're gonna go with 21 inches. And the other thing I wanted to check to see if these five quarter boards, so we call these five quarter boards, actually that's a, that's a one by six, that's not even a five quarter board. Um, anyway, so let's see how long these are. So it looks like these are the right length. They are the right length, so that's good. Um, but I'm going to use five quarter boards. So we'll, we'll stick with the 21 inches. We'll stay with that. That's fine. It shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I just need to go get um, a piece of five quarter board out of the building. And uh, so let me, um, let's see. I'll tell you what. Give me... Let me run to the building real quick and I'll be right back. You just hang in there. All right, guys, sorry about that. I didn't have my five quarter board. So this is a five quarter board. And this is what uh, <clears throat> sometimes people use for decking. So uh, you'll notice that the edges are beveled. So that allows for a better gap within the boards. Uh, <clears throat> but so this is a, this is actually a one by six that we're replacing. So it's not quite it's not quite wide enough. That's another problem. Check this again. <clears throat> so I'm really not liking that too much. We may have to end up. Yes. Ah, uh, you know what? I think it'll work. It'll work because we can run the screw in, you know, further to get to that board. So we can make that work. <clears throat> Although there is a little. There is going to be a slight gap in between from one side to the other. We can still make it work, though. So, uh, so I see why they use the one by six now, uh, because the one the five quarter boards are five, excuse me, five inches by um, they're five and a quarter thick. Sorry, that's why they call, call them five quarter boards. And let's measure, let's measure and see how wide. They are. So they're five and a half inches wide. That's what part. So these boards are actually six. So if you see that board, if you can see that, this board right here is six inches wide, and the five quarter board is five and a half. So it's not ideal, but um, the five quarter board will hold up better, uh, and we'll be able to take screws better. So, so there's a lot of good reasons why we, we want to use that. So this piece here is. We're not going to use that. <clears throat> all right. So we need to, first of all, we need to cut our five quarter board. And we're going to cut it the same length as the, the one that came off underneath the mailbox, which is 17 inches. So, so we're going to take 17 inches off this five quarter board. So I don't need to turn my back on you, but uh, you get the idea. I'm busy. Uh, all right. So. I'm going to put a mark there at 17 inches, right? And then <clears throat> we'll cut that and then we'll put a mark on the other piece, okay? All right, so. All right, let's see what we got. <clears throat> Go 
those 17 inches for the second piece for the other mailbox. All right. All right. You didn't realize I would, it would take so much time to do this one simple little mailbox. Thing. It's uh, a lot of work for two mailboxes. So there's our bases, right, for, for our mailboxes, okay? So we got those ready. Now, we want to go, I think it's 21 inches across. Let's see, yeah, 21. <clears throat> so we want to cut this piece 21 inches. Try to determine which side we want to get rid of. That side has a knot. So we'll get rid of this piece. That has a knot there, too. But anyway, I guess of the two sides, we'll get rid of that piece. Alright, so we're gonna go 21 inches, right? Okay, 21 inches. Here we go. 21 is gonna take us right before that knot, which is good. Alright, now we're gonna put a put a line there. Okay. Put another line like we did earlier. <coughs> Just draw a line all the way around this piece, like so, plus, all right. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So this is, again, this is part three of this project. So part four will be tomorrow. I'm going to, I'm going to wait till tomorrow morning and, uh, and plant the post with the mailbox attached. Um, not sure, not sure how I'm going to do that yet. I may, I may wait till I get up there and actually attach and mount the mailboxes on top of the post after it's in the ground. I think that probably would be a lot easier to do it that way. Uh, but it's pretty simple. It's not, not that difficult. Um, so, um, let's see. So, and then, uh, and then after that, my, um, uh, my, my one of my sons is supposed to help me or I'm supposed to help him actually cut down a tree at my daughter's house uh, a big cedar tree so if I remember I'll try to make make a video of that as well tomorrow so uh, you're getting a lot of a lot of videos here in uh, a short amount of time all right so let's cut this piece and on top of the post okay now so next we want to um, next we want to I'm going to use this block as a, as a reference point, okay so we're gonna we're gonna do it this way uh, yeah that would give us more of a base so we're gonna notch this but let me flip this over okay let's, let's we'll do it on this side I guess and then that'll be flipped over. Let's see. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter either way. Um, all right, so we're going to do a notch. So we want to do so. This this piece on this side is three three and three quarters inches wide. It's not four inches. Nothing. No lumber is exactly what it's supposed to be. Um, so we're at 21 <clears throat> 21 inches. And if I take four off 21, uh, we're looking at 17. Um, but remember it's three and three quarters, so it'll be, um, uh, it'll be 17, 17 and an eighth, right? 17 and eighth. 
and then we'll split that in half. Um, sorry, yeah, 21 minus 4 would be 17. Um, so we'll take it from and half of that, 17 and 8. Half of 17 would be uh, 5, 8 and a half, and a 16. So 8 and a half plus a 16. I think that's right. No, that's not right. All right, 21. Okay, let's just do the middle. So we're going to do, sorry, my math's uh, getting messed up here. Let's do 10 and a half. We're doing this on the fly. 10 and a half is dead center, okay? All right, now, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, <clears throat> just put that we know the center of this piece is um, actually it looks like three and three quarters almost so we'll call it uh, one in one and five eighths all right so so this is the center right so three and three quarters would be one and a half uh, yeah. So one and three eighths, so one and five eighths. Right, one and five eighths on either side, one and a half. So we do that. Uh, five eighths. Let's try that. Let's see how that works. Uh, pretty darn close. I don't think anyone's gonna. Anyone's gonna. No one's gonna know but you and I. Okay. Um, so let's put a mark here and we'll try to get a straight line so at least we have it straight. Um, and that's why you want to use a square to make sure everything's straight, right? Oh, oh sorry, that sold us this kick in my butt. Uh, woo! Okay. Alright, so we got we got our mark, okay? And that's it's not perfect I don't like that but um, so maybe we'll go a little to the little to the side of that let me just check my measurements on each side I'm curious to see so that's eight eight and two eighths and that is yeah that's definitely off darn it um, eight and three eighths so let's go eight and a half let's go eight and a half we'll try that we'll go eight and a half so I'm going to put an X on these lines knowing they're not correct because I made a mistake. Right. So we'll go eight and a half on either side. Let's see if that looks better. Should look a little better, I'm thinking. All right. Let's see. So we'll do on a straight line right there. All right. We're going to do that. All right, that looks a lot better. <clears throat> okay. I'm just going to make sure I cut the right, the correct lines. Okay, so we're only going to go part of the way down this, part of the way down uh, through this wood. We're not going to cut. <clears throat> so your blade, the blade is, that's too far. We don't want to cut that deep into this piece of wood. Okay. So first thing you do is unplug your saw. Unplug your saw, right? Unplug it because you don't want to adjust your blade while the saw is plugged in because you could actually bump the trigger and then cut your finger off. So it's not that wouldn't be a good thing. All right. So now we want to go. We want to go about one and a half inches. <clears throat> about one and a half inches. All right. Let's see. Let's see what depth we have on this blade now. Uh, all right. So we're going to check this blade depth. <clears throat> and it looks like, and it doesn't have to be exact. It's uh, yeah, it's one and it's a little bit more than I want. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust it just a little bit more. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, all right, let's see what we got. All right, sorry. Okay, <clears throat> so we're looking at one and a half. That's exactly one and a half inches. So that's what we're doing. All right. So that'll be about the thickness of this this two by four or three and a half by one and a half. Anyway, because they're not two by fours anymore. Okay. 
enough of that. All right. So, what do I need to do now? I need to plug my saw back in. Okay. Plug my saw back in. All right. Now we're good. All right. So remember the lines that the X's are not the lines I want. I want the lines that don't have an X. way all right so we're going to draw a line we're going to draw a straight line <clears throat> okay we're going to draw a straight line from this from this cut the base of that cut to the base of the other cut okay and draw a straight line there okay so you can see that and then i'm going to draw a straight line <clears throat> on this on this piece as well okay Turn it around so you can see it, all right? And from there to there, right? Okay. So this is going to be the next cut. Okay, now, what I'm going to do, I have a very sharp wood chisel. And uh, it's it's a little, little extra work to do it this way, but uh, it should be just fine. Um, as long as you take your time. So you see the beveled edge, <clears throat> the beveled edge of your wood chisel, if you can see that. The chisel is beveled. I think that's, the sun's hitting me, so. Um, so this beveled edge, you want to make sure and put the beveled edge uh, toward, the, toward the piece that you're doing away with. So you tip that up, okay, and you just, okay. And then you do it again. You don't go too crazy with it at first. Just go real easy. Okay. And okay. See that? Yep. Yeah. And the other thing you can do as well is you can run other. You can run other. Uh, cuts with your saw now if you had a um, if you had a saw with a dado blade um, you could um, you could do wider cuts through this wood instead of using a chisel like I'm doing but uh, I don't have a dado blade on my on my saw so and I don't want to take the time to put one on there even if I had one but uh, so I'm just I'm just kind of scoring, scoring this wood right now. And then we'll get, we'll get a little, a little more intense with it here in a little bit. Okay. Um, my dogs are going crazy because my wife's in the front yard. <clears throat> Okay, now, so we want to um, want to run our saw a little more, go a couple more times across. the noise um and that so in that case you don't have to worry too much about being precise you just run the lines across okay all right now we should be able to pop some of these pieces out now hopefully let's see how it goes yeah it's starting to crack now okay um, there we go see those pieces are starting to pop Okay, starting to come out. All right. Uh, 
they're split out. I mean, that's uh, it's treated lumber, so it's kind of hard not to have any of that going on. But you know, it's going to be covered up with the mailbox anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. See, that piece popped out pretty easy. All right. All right, see how we're doing there? See how we're doing this now? Okay, we're popping them out. Okay. All right, pop them pieces out. Pop them out. Give them a little pop. Pop, pop, pop. Right. Not soda pop either. Ah, they're getting a little G poppy. That's what they're getting. A little bit of G poppy. All right, anyway, enough of that. Okay. There we go, guys. So it's simple as that, okay? Not hard, not difficult. Now, let's just check this with our, our piece. All right, so this should, now this, so obviously this is not going on this short piece. This is just as a reference, okay? See how that's going to sit on there, okay? So this is going to set on top of our post, right? So it's going to come up like this. And then we're going to run these, <clears throat> tomorrow, we'll do this tomorrow. Then we're going to run these these uh, <clears throat> rugged structural screws, and these things are these things are legit. They are tough, and they will just go, eat right through the wood. So they'll they'll run. We'll run one here and one here, okay, on top of the post, and then we'll run our our boards across. Or sorry, we'll set our boards up on top like this, okay, where our mailbox will be sitting on. So is that making sense to you now? Hopefully it is. So our mailboxes will set on top of these on top of these boards now. So anyway, that just gives you an idea of how we're going to do this. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and then uh, so tomorrow morning I'll I'll get back to you. We'll make another video, and I'll I'll show you uh, how we're going to install the post in the ground, and and then we'll mount the. Uh, the wood structure on top of the um, post with the mailboxes on them uh, after we get that done. So anyway, I'll, I'll cut this off now. So this will be part three of the um, replacing the dual mailbox post. And then tomorrow will be the part four and last part of this project. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.